in the red corner, we have the Algo Laser by Algo Technologies. And this happens to be the DIY Kit Mini. It's a 10 watt laser. Mm -hmm. And I've already done a little burn with it, which is this one here. And it's like 100% power at 100 millimeters per second. Well, I'm going to burn this logo again. But this time in the blue corner with the Longair P1 a laser. And that happens to be a 40 watt laser. Now, I set it to 100 millimeters per second at 40% power, because it might be a bit of a mess if I did it 100% at 40 watts power. So, well, let's see. Is the longer, considering it's a much more expensive machine than this little 199 euro jobby, they're about around 800 uh, euros. It, it, it depends on what's on offer at the time. Um, I've seen as much as 1,100 euros. So, it, you know, uh, I think at the moment they're around 800. And it's a very, very, very capable machine. I haven't used it that much yet because I haven't had it that long. But we're going to do this test, okay? Now, just give you a little idea with the overhead uh, camera. I'll show you the, um, oh, the little longer from above. And this is the little longer laser. It's a 300 by 315 millimeter um, yeah, work surface. Small footprint. It's not too heavy. And it's actually made of the same... Uh, material, very, very similar material to the long gear um, Ray 5 that I've got. Now, the B1, uh, which happens to be uh, this one, uh, all the sections are more proprietary. They're actually built for that particular laser, and it's quite well thought out, to be honest. It's a different kettle of fish. It really is. But you wouldn't want to carve that about with you. Where is this little devil? You could take this to your job site if you want. You really could. Whether you want to, well, laser engrave a door or a panel or anything. Yeah. You could do all sorts of phallic symbols on worktops when you, uh, like, for instance, an Airbnb or something like that. You know how it goes. Whatever you're into. Well, so first of all, I need to frame the laser. You frame the laser. So let's do that. Okay. See it moving back and forwards over there. Uh, da, 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 there you go. Framing the laser. And then we're going to do the laser burn. But I will speed that bit up. Otherwise, you might get a, how to put it, a tad bored. So, I'm about to press start. Mini me, fire the laser. I'm back. Well, yes, I'm back after the laser burn has completed. Now, I'm looking at it from over here, and I can see that it is a different colour to the Algo laser. This actually, if you ask me, is a much darker burn. Now, you'd assume that this laser, being it's 10 watts, will be quarter as powerful as the 40 watt laser, wouldn't you? Hmm, interesting. Should we grab it? I think we should. Okay. First impressions. It is slightly deeper, but a different colour. 
This one's come out a brown. Yet that one is much, much more ebony. I wonder why that is. Now, let's put this underneath the other camera so we can have a closer look. Okay. Over here, this one is the Algo Laser 10 Watt. Now, I don't know if you can see that, but the edges aren't that crisp. They just aren't. Now, if I look at this one, I'll tell you, let's see if we put them side by side. That might make, make me fair. The B1 laser has a much more defined edge. It's not as dark. It is as deep. Yeah, well, definitely it's as deep. If it, no, it's deeper. This one's burnt deeper. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah that, that's way deeper. Now, they've both uh, been laser burned onto chestnut. I know this one's a little bit bigger, so you could argue maybe it's the image. It's not. The image is, um, you can basically make it as big, bigger. It's a PNG, so you can make it as big, as you, big or small as you like, really. And also, the image is actually quite large. Um, so I haven't... Well, actually, if I make it bigger, it'd be worse, wouldn't it? Regarding the image quality. Uh, on face value, though, although I prefer the darker burn the longer b1 remember it's a more expensive laser let's be fair is definitely most definitely crisper it really is it's much much crisper so i don't know if you see it even on that one any better or not okay i can you see that they see the depth of it as well oh, that's quite a good camera <laughs> look at that there you go so you can see it's defined yeah it's definitely more defined it's not as dark which is a bit of a shame i'd like it a bit darker to be fair um but saying that you could put light coat of black paint on that and just sand it with a flat sander and on the highs and then it'll be black or whatever color you like actually and let's bring this one close to you you see it's not as deep nowhere near as deep much darker i, I don't know if you can see the, the fact that it's not as crisp it's definitely the edge the edge Oh, you can see it definitely. It's good, but would it be good on finer work? You know what I mean? Where you where you require that detail. The Tim's the same, they're both chestnut. From the same batch of wood, same uh age and what have you. So you definitely say, yeah, I was I'd have to admit that the longer B1 is a better laser. But the price <laughs> is at least four times dearer than this little one here. It's, this one's uh, obviously smaller than the B1 anyway. And the, the B1 is obviously more powerful. It's got a much larger, uh, more powerful um, uh, laser, you know, LED uh, diode laser. The, uh, the only thing I would say is, though, hmm, maybe... I know this isn't the reason because I've done lots of burns on there now and I kind of understand what's going on. Um, I ought to fit the air assist on this laser and maybe try it again with the air assist and see whether or not that makes any difference to the quality of the burn. I've got air assist running at the moment on the longer B1s automatic. Um, I don't actually think it's that. So I'm looking at that this it looks like it's like the image quality looks poorer yeah anyway what do you reckon do you think would you go for the sharper or the darker <laughs> leave it in the comments down below yeah there you go okay so that was a little bit of a uh, comparison between the algo DIY kit mini 10 watt laser and the longer B1 40 watt laser, which I have to admit I do prefer, but you know, 200 quid. And maybe I can, I can improve it a little bit, we'll see. I'll, I'll have a play, I will let you know. So, anyway, time for me to go, so I'm going to say 
to Luna, but please boop the old like button because it helps the channel, you know. Apparently, uh, there, there it is. Okay. Oh, yeah, don't forget the little bell icon as well. Oh, wait, 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 there. Because then every time I upload another video, you'll get a warm, fuzzy feeling in your pocket like you will. Toodaloo.